What is Cucamonga Sound? Cucamonga Sound is a full service music production and post production company. Uh, we specialize primarily in indie rock, I would say, productions. I've primarily specialized in uh, mixing myself. My partner and uh, assistant focuses on production and pre production at his uh, studio in LA, and he will bring people out from LA and then. That's how we uh, work with a lot of clients. I can master here. I generally like to get a second set of ears on it, but if someone requests that I master, I, I do mastering as well. The studio is in the master bedroom of my house. This is the master bedroom, was no longer. And the booth is what used to be two closets that were knocked down. My biggest concern building a studio that I want people to be comfortable in and not have any sort of limitations in a residential space. So I knew that isolation of sound would be uh, critical to building a studio. Philosophy behind the build, I guess you could say, was a room within a room. Uh, the floor and the structure that is this studio is through magic i'm assuming <laughs> completely isolated from the existing structure and the floor of the house so i became familiar with haverstick designs through vintage king representative brian gross who has become a close personal friend and he recommended Gavin to me when he knew that I was going to be requiring uh, construction to be done in my studio project. And frankly speaking, he said uh, there was, if you're going to do construction, there's no one quite like Gavin. So I chose to uh, meet with Gavin and, you know, I thought he was a sharp cookie right off the bat. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. Yeah, so the room sounds incredible. Um, I mean, very even across the frequency spectrum. Uh, reverb, it's not like insanely dead in here. It remains active in here without it being crazy. So it gives a realistic representation of like, you know, listening environment. And that helps my mixes tremendously. The speakers that we're rocking uh, the Barefoot Me Mate 12s are pretty bassy, like they, they pump bass, but thanks to the uh, Trinov ST2 Pro Optimizer that we employ here, uh, bass is able to be controlled without it uh, being lifeless. The absorption that the Flex 48 Space Doohickeys provide in the low, low mids, while leaving the, you know, mids two to 4K like intact without like just sucking them dry. So, you know, there's no need to overcompensate with that in the mix and you know, boost that um, and then destroy someone's ears on the listen back. So the process of designing the studio was very interesting to someone who had never done that before, had never designed a studio before. Um, and the process in which you see your vision, your ideas come to life is the renderings that Haverstick Designs provides along the way. They are magical. I mean, they look crazy. They look like uh, a real space. It's, if you have a good contractor, it should be hard to tell the difference, I suppose, between the renderings and the real one. And that is the case here. Um, <laughs> they, they look just like the renderings. I mean, everything that was on the, the uh, 3D imagery came to life, obviously through a good contractor. I had AIC Interior Contracting, which is a local IE contractor. Um, but... 
the without renderings and being able to see kind of what you're building, I imagine it would be a much more, dare I say, scary process. Um, and then not to mention like they're able to completely model like your gear, you know, your speakers, how the speakers are gonna sound, you know, given the depths and the dimensions of the room. It's, uh, it's, it's wonderfully scientific, I would say. Here we have the control room and then a booth, but I call it the boom because it's the booth slash room. I wanted to have, you know, an excellently isolated room, small booth room, but I wanted it to be big enough to give me some flexibility if I ever want to have multiple people or a drum set or whatever. Well, I want to separate players in the control room and the room, whatever, you know. I just, I wanted a room that was big enough to do that and thankfully the closet space that we knocked down uh, provided that. And frankly speaking, people are just blown away when they uh, come in the studio. I mean, it looks incredible. You know, gear-wise, sure, it's competitive with a lot, but looks-wise, it's 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 quite competitive. You walk in, and it's like a space a space station, and it's like, whoa, you know, and that's the effect that it has on people. When I was building, looking to build a studio, I, I considered greatly, like, you know, the pros and cons of having it in my house or getting a separate uh, space. And ultimately I decided in my house was better for me. I mean, frankly speaking, like money, you know, paying rent or buying another building was uh, a contributing factor. Uh, also, I love that I don't have to wear shoes here. <laughs> Sometimes I wear a shirt, not all the time. And I can go play with my pups when I need a break from the ears. So, Having a studio in your house, as I've noticed kind of in the industry a little bit lately, it kind of seems to be what people are doing. And I get it. I mean, it's if you have the space and you can make sure that your neighbors don't hate you, it's, it's comfy, it's convenient. There's no reason you can't get work done if you're focused. I mean, um, it's, I enjoy it.